What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome back to Lovecraft's Untold Stories. Now, the devs seem to have really enjoyed the first video, which is so awesome to hear back from you guys. And they seem to have agreed that the combat, or at least the enemies, are a little too fast and that... Uh, it's a little too hard to reliably dodge enemies, but I, that's probably something that's not going to be out for a while in demo form, but I have played a little bit in my own time and have been able to find some pretty interesting things, and being a roguelike, none of that progress is saved. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm back for some more, to see if we can find some more of that. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely some interesting stuff going on here. So let's get back into it. So I figured out that, uh, most of the time, actually every time that I've played, they give you two chests right at the beginning with a whole bunch of dynamite and some other random drops. It does seem like health is still, uh oh, a little um, inconsistent in what you can get. But luckily, we got one right off the bat here. Okay, anything in any of these? Nothing. I, I love dead ends more than anything else. Because it means that I don't have to explore anymore that way. That looks like a turbo buttons symbol. Okay, no combat. Perfect. That is always very nice. Anything good in here? Oh goodness, yes, we got some more we got some more health. So I have been reading through some of the item descriptions, and most of the books are to sell, it seems. Uh, keys unlock chests of the same type, which is obvious, it's in the description. And the two different currency types are for the two different vendors that you can find in the world. Um, info and actual money. But I, uh, I hope we end up getting to find one of the vendors in this episode, because I, I want to show you some of the items that you can get. So, okay. Let's try it this way. Combat. Oh, I love it when rooms only have one enemy and they're not one of the slimy dudes. Because the cultists are a hell of a lot easier to kill. At least the, the melee ones are. No combat? Sweet. Alright. Uh, yeah, we do have an exit in this room. I kind of want to go back and check the other one. Combat? Uh, two. Perfect. Alright, so I think a lot of my survival feels like it depends on... What? Is there still someone in here? One of the things is... What? What? Why can't I go in there? Maybe if I leave and come back, it'll be gone? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, shit! Okay, okay, are we good? I think we're good. I did run into one bug when I was playing on my own that I tried to use an item as soon as I entered a room and the, like, runic fog appeared and I, I couldn't move out of the fog. So do we have a silver key? No, we only have gold keys. Oh, give me items, yes. Nothing there. So the holes in the floor are for spikes. Oh, ow! Ow! Oh, right, I'm bleeding. Okay. So we don't have a key for that. Did we... Yeah, we came through there. Okay, we need to go out through 
here, maybe? Combat? Fuck off, man. There we go. <laughs> Hear me, I'm dying. Uh, yeah, a lot of the enemies will yell stuff when you kill them. Combat. Nope. One. Give me. Fuck. Okay, nope, 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 nope. This is not good. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Can I have some more health items, please? I'd really like that. I'd really like that. Please, no combat? Oh, no combat. What do we have? A corpse and a member of one of the secret, uh, secret societies or cults I've been encountering. So every time I've come across this in my own, I do two and blast it, but I want to see what one does. This gives me a better chance to examine the tattoos and ritual scars I've only glimpsed before. These people appear to mortify their flesh extensively, probably as tests of faith or acts of devotion. Hmm. There's signs of body modification, too. The tongue has been split down the middle, several teeth have been filed, the finger and toenails have been removed and cauterized, and there's a crudely performed partial castration. The navel has been sewn shut, the nipples have been removed. I... I mean... Huh. At least knowing this will make them easier to spot in the future. Oh sweet, we didn't... Oh shit! Nice! A thousand of each! And we didn't lose any sanity for it. All right, is there, there's just this door to the left. Ah, here we go, one of our merchants. Now, I, I noticed this while I was playing by myself up in the, the top left, or top right there. That's Lovecraft. That is most definitely Lovecraft. So, you go off of info. So I am gonna sell all the books because they're not worth any money. Ah, uh, there we go, there we go. So, perfect. And the first aid kits are really powerful. So I'm gonna go with a bunch of these. Uh, perfect. And then uh, we can only see the item descriptions of these guys so far, and uh, there seems to be some issues with the window formatting, but let's see. Golden Bug teleports you to a safe random place. An Ankh. Uh, the Egyptians believe this sign protects from evil. This is what I mean with the, the window formatting. Some of the stuff's cut off top. There's a feeling of invulnerability when you're touching them. Uh, Ibn Ghazi's liquid. A mysterious liquid in an atomizer. Things become invisible. A small gold-rimmed, nearly translucent stone. You can see more through it. Zeroth's eye. So, I also noticed that you have leg slot, body slot, head slot, and then two accessories, as well as two extra weapons. So, um, I'm curious to see what fits into what. I'm sure that things like the liquid are one-time use, but if you use the dog tags or Azeroth's eye, those are um, slot items, so they give like a passive bonus or something. Um, and then, oh nice, even more, Atlas of the Ancient World, let's, uh, let's just sell that. Perfect. It's not taking up an inventory slot. Now, every other time that I have come across, ooh, silver key, perfect. Every other time that I have come across a vendor, the next vendor is in one of the next two rooms, and the other room is a boss fight. So I, uh, I'm a little wary about choosing which room I'm going to go in next. But I wanted to come back and see what was in you. Also, when I was playing on my own, uh, using two keys into a slot eliminates both keys. So I don't know if there's a way to split stacks or remove one key once it's been put in, but I had like three bronze keys and opened up a bronze lock and it used all three of them. What? 
Oh, that's an iron lock. Right. There we go. <gasps> Shit. Oh, god damn it. Well, that's fine. Good time to heal anyway. Okay. Let's uh perfect. Let's explore some of the other I haven't seen this before. A cluster of enormous weird looking eggs. Nothing bad can possibly happen as a result of me being near these. Search the nest. Whatever made the nest padded it with scraps of cloth, trinkets, and bits of paper. I can't make out anything definitive, but something down the line might remind me of these odds and ends and help me pick up clues I might otherwise overlook. Okay. Nice. 100 info. That's not bad. Can I, I, you can only interact with the things once, which uh, I wish you could, I could do both to see what would happen, but I, I get that it's probably not a good idea. Okay, so let's see which is which. Oh, is this just a dead end trap room? I'm cool with that. I'm real cool with that. All right, what's up here? Yeah, here's our other vendor. Okay, so... I really don't think there's anything ever in those boxes. All right, man, what have you for me? Okay, so yeah, you can buy new guns, Tommy gun, police shotgun, Winchester, ammunition belt. Uh, we have 1,500. Hmm. I don't think. Ooh. Wait a sec. If I sell two gold keys, it's 2,500. That's 900 each, so that's 1,800. Yeah. Perfect. Only for the detective increases defense against physical attacks. Perfect. 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 Okay. So, problem is none of this carries over into another playthrough if I die. And I don't know if there's any, like, permanent upgrades that allow you to progress further each time, but... Usually, I find bosses after these two, so... Part of me wants to go all the way back. Can I look at the map? Um, I don't know if I can. There it is. Yeah, so... Part of me wants to go back and explore some of the other potential paths that we might have. Because I would rather not end this run so quickly. What do you say? Okay, so we're back in the chest room. And I want to see what's going on up here. Okay, no combat. Uh, just a furnace? A decrepit looking boiler. Doesn't seem very safe. Open it up and check inside. When I opened it for a split second, I heard what I thought was a scream. But maybe it was just a hiss of steam. Oh no. Their charred remains of human hand bones still clasped together, as if in prayer. What happened here? No! My sanity! Also, I don't know if there's any uh, indicator as to my sanity level anywhere. So I see stamina and health, but I don't see uh, sanity anywhere. So I will be right back. Okay, so we're back in the main room now. I wanted to see what was going on up this way. Okay, combat. Didn't realize I was not fully loaded. Alright. I need more delicious- Oh, there's an iron key. Yay! Wait, did we already have an iron key? No, we didn't. Cool. So... Was that everything there? I don't think you can go out the front door. Yeah, you can't go out the front door. All right, cool. Be right back. All right, let's see what this has for us. Iron lock gets an iron key. 
Info, money, and a first aid kit. Okay, not terrible. It's, I don't think it's enough to buy anything else useful, but, uh, you know, I will take what I can get in this hellish mansion. Okay, so we know there's nothing over that way, but considering the other merchant is up from here, I think this room might not be the boss. Oh, nice. A stone sculpture, or altar closely inspected okay chiseled onto the base devo nodesti silvanis annulum piredit uh, de medium partem donavit nodenti inter quibus nomen senicaini nolus petmitas sanitem donec perf Perfera usque templum dentis. I think that's Latin. Uh, considering that all of the V's are written as U, or all of the U's are written as V's. But let me see if I can run that through a translator real quick. Okay, so a lot of the words don't show up, but some of what did translate was meat, part of the name he gave to unknown until healing is conveyed to the temple of the tooth. So I didn't get a complete translation directly from Latin, and I wonder if this is a reference to something that's in some of Lovecraft's work. But it, it does make me very, very curious as to what the hell this is supposed to be. And I wonder if it's because of uh, some of the, the V and U translations and then maybe some prefixes or um, tenses that uh, Google Translate might not be familiar with. But that took me a while. Let's... Keep going and see what else is going on. I have a feeling this is going to be a boss room. So I'm going to go ahead and enter and then heal right away. Yeah, full health. Okay, not a boss, but still. Oh, being proactive to not die. Sure beats dying! Oh shit, it is a boss room. Okay, let's, uh... Let me, yeah, throw some dynamite at you, motherfucker. Okay, sweet. Destroyed a chest, which is okay. Because it means we killed something. All right, you're still alive, so let's do another one of those. Okay, let's reload. How's big man doing? Still alive? It's not good. Do I need to be further over to throw this? Okay, let's just heal up again, because I'd rather be safe. Okay. Big fucker, big fucker is dead. That looks like a silver lock, but there's still enemies in here, so we are not gonna rest until, ah, there you are. Perfect, great ones, I'm coming to you. Yeah, well, meet your lord and savior. Are there more big, like, red spawning blobs in here? I sincerely hope not, because I am out of dynamite. Oh shit, man! Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. Oh man, that's the first time I've, I've beaten a boss room. That's satisfying. That's really satisfying. I feel like I did have to spam my heels 
just to be proactive about any damage I might take, but... Oh, hi there, chest. Silver key. 700 for... Okay. Yig's favor. What the fuck is that? A tiny hollow fang adds partial protection against poison damage. Shouldn't that be in my accessories and not my uh, chest piece? Who am I to question the game? But, you know, I don't know. That makes a little bit more sense to me. Oh, man. I'm, I'm still, like, calming down from the boss fight. That was fun! That was really fun! Now that I've I've learned I need to do proactive healing, it uh, it doesn't feel great having to do that because if you're out of healing items, then you might just be kind of fucked. But is there anything down here? Going in prepared definitely uh, made a big difference there. A roaring fire. I usually find these comforting, but there's something hungry about this blaze. Search the ashes. This fire appears to have been used to burn documents. I can't make much from the fragments of paper, but there are a few names and locations which might help me in my investigation. Uh, which might help me in my investigation, I'll make a note of. Oh, cool. 100 info! Sweetness! So, now that we've done all of this, and I blew up a chest there, which kind of makes me sad, but let's go spend some of this. So how much money do we have? We have two grand in the big old moolah department, which is only enough for the ammunition belt, but I'm cool with that. Awesome. So now we reload and fire faster. And then we have 3,000 info, so maybe we can get something from Mr. Lovecraft himself. No. I should sell some of these as well. Alright, 3,700. Golden Bug, it sounds interesting, but I'd almost rather save up to get uh something like this or Azeroth's eye yeah i'm going to i'm going to hold on to my info for the most part but i am going to top off to have 15 medkits perfect the the smallest amount of healing you can get is from the standard medkit but it heals over time and it does a hell of a lot of healing. I think it's as much or more than your full health bar. Motherfucker! Okay, let's use another one, and then start oh. make- oh, I don't- Okay, take some cover. Shit, man! Are these just normal enemies now? They're like, hey, uh, congratulations on beating the first one! Or the first two! Here's a lot more of them! you. Let's get you out of there. Perfect. I'm going to investigate the other parts real quick, because if I don't have to face that thing right away- oh, I can use that as cover. Alright. Ow. Oh man, this is a fucking gauntlet, isn't it? All right, that's fine. Yay, first aid kit. My best friend in the whole mansion. Okay, what else? There was something up here, some more info. 
I'm just gonna have to go right back to, to Mr. Lovecraft and buy more buy more med kits. <laughs> this is gonna be the case. Okay. Awesome. Oh, nice. We just we got a whole bunch of them. Uh, we don't have a silver key. All right, that's fine. At least it marks it on the map for us, which is awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at this obelisk. Oh, can I not? I thought this was going to be something that I could investigate. All right, well, Kalbanga. Okay, no enemies. You can be investigated. It's weird that most of the time these things are in rooms where there's just nothing else going on. A set of medieval of medieval period period god what's up with my reading today european armor examine it it's engraved with the words a whole bunch of stuff in french cool well i did a translation on the last one let's do it on this one first from just from looking at it i would think the armor sacred so the sacred armor of Frere Ambrose, so of Brother Ambrose, or Ambrosia, however you want to pronounce that, who vanquished the something liberated the land of something dead. That's my first guess. I know absolutely no French. But that that is just what I'm going to take a guess, uh, just looking at it by itself. The sacred armor of Brother Ambroge, who defeated the beast of Averogne? I don't know. I, that's probably a name. Releasing the earth of a murderous plague. Okay, so this is some, like, medieval hero who saved a bunch of people. Cool. Um... Whenever I put my hand back down from typing on my phone, it goes immediately to the mouse, and then I remember. That will get me nothing in this. So. What's going on? No combat. Whoa, okay. Whoa! Holy crap! Info? Money? U.S. Army ID tags? Ow! I'm on fire! Yeah, see what I mean? Look how much health that is. I... What is... Is this something just to investigate? Or does this... What is this? Bone door. The door is closed. Think before you step in it, or it will cost you a leg and an arm. Think before you step in it. Okay, I don't have an arm and a leg. So what what were the US Army ID tags? Um engraved with the name of Daniel Morris. There's a feeling of invulnerable Oh Oh, shit! Is that, like, an actual invulnerability thing? Uh, let's... Yeah, shit. Let's do... That. That good? Well, we also have doctor bags. And big med kits. But I like my little ones. They're so much cheaper. And they help. They help a lot. Um... So, we need... An arm and a leg after our skull and foot. Because think twice before you step on the door, and then it'll cost you an arm and a leg. I was thinking this was going to be like an equipable, but uh, what is this slot? Oh, it's my explosives. How much money do we have? Oh, we have 5,400 um, info. No combat. That's always the first thing I check as I watch the door that I come in through. And if the, the red shit appears, silver key, iron key, medic kit. Nice. 
There's a sheet of paper here with what looks to be a strange painting of ink splattered on it. To me, it looks like... Uh, go. It represents how I feel. Seeing my chaotic emotions represented on to me on paper. I don't know if I can keep doing this. Oh, shit. That is fucked up. That is so shitty. Fuck you, game. Is that... Oh. My god. Is there some sort of representation of the sanity meter that I'm not aware of? Because I don't know if it was that itself that killed me, or if I tipped over into madness because... It says killed by madness there, but I don't have a point of reference. That is really shitty. That fucking sucks. Ah. Uh. Yep, yep, and here we are, back at the beginning. That was such a good run, and now we have nothing to show for it. I don't know if there is some sort of character progression system in the game that allows you to maintain permanent upgrades or anything like that, but... Man, the fact that I have to go through all of that shit again really makes me never want to touch the game again. I get that it's a roguelike, but some of the ones that I've played before, I can't remember exactly what they've been, but it seems like they either have something that carries over into the next playthrough, or permanent upgrades that you get based on the experience that you had, and... The fact that it's a completely clean slate every time... I get that this is just a demo, too. But the fact that it's a completely clean slate every time... Really fucking sucks. It really sucks. Because that was... Uh, I've been recording for almost 45 minutes. I get that some of that was the translation, but... All of that just squandered. And I don't have anything that I built up. I... I just, I have to work my way through everything again, and it's all completely random. So I can't have learned the layout of anything. <sighs> I do want to keep playing. Like, I'm, ow. That sucks. I'm curious enough as to, like, what the hell is going on here, and seeing more of the enemy, and seeing more of the world. But, man, it feels like a game that just hates its players. Mm. Yep, yep, there we go. I'm bleeding again. You got a bunch of TNT, that's nice. This TNT is super fucking powerful. I do feel like I have gotten a hell of a lot better at the game overall, uh, just from the first episode, but man, just because nothing carries over, ow, is that going to kill me? That very well may kill me. No, no health packs. Yeah, I get that I'm playing a little bit recklessly, but this is another one of those things that it, when it comes to relying entirely on random drops for health, I, oh, I don't have a gold key. Is that all that's in here? Yep. It would be nice if you could guarantee the game starting with at least <sighs> one small health kit. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Well, yeah, crap, I quit out of the game. 
Yeah, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Not having a way to gauge your own sanity, so maybe you know not to take risks like that. And some sort of playthrough to playthrough carryover. I get that since the world is randomly generated, you can't do any kind of later stage checkpoint or anything like that, but I this is just me spitballing here. It'd be really cool if the entire game, every level, was generated when you start a new game. And every time you die or you are forced to start over in some way, you get the same level layout as that playthrough. So you'd have a, a new game or a continue option where you would respawn in the exact same environment that you had before so you can make some informed decisions as to where you're going, what you're supposed to be doing, what you need to work towards, and what it was that killed you last time. So maybe having the world reset but not re-randomize would be a way to mitigate this complete lack of experience carryover or item carryover, anything like that. I get that you end up unlocking new characters later on, but if everybody just has that same die to restart, and uh, and I don't know how many levels are going to be in the full game, but yeah, that just blank slate restart every single time you don't feel like you've made any progress after you die and maybe that's the entire point of a roguelike but i i've liked roguelikes that i've played that you keep an amount of experience when you die so you can level up your health or your sanity or maybe depending on how well you did you get a random loot drop that will give you items that you can permanently start with. Stuff like that. So even when you die, you get some sort of progress in the character that you're you're making. Because I can imagine you could go for hours in this and end up dying and you're back to square one. There might be a situation where later on you get a second spawn point. So you can uh, move on from there, but then even if you die and you lose everything, you're stuck in a late game area with nothing. And that would be almost worse than restarting from the very beginning, because it might end up being a complete battle in futility against a crazy ass room that's late game. But I don't see that being viable due to the the regeneration of the map every time. So I do think the game needs to work seriously on its sense of player progression. I get that it's a roguelike, but starting the entire game over every single time is uh, very disheartening. Extremely disheartening. I want to see what's going on later on, but I don't want to play through 40 minutes of game just to get back to where I was. I know I was hard on it. I know I've been really hard on it uh, this time around, but I do enjoy the game. I really do. I love the atmosphere. I love the, the items that you can find, the little incremental upgrades that you get on your character that make you feel stronger and that you can take on more. And there's something really satisfying about finding the vendors for the first time and just loading up on health because it gives you more survivability. I don't know if there's any items that are going to like help cure your sanity or anything like that, but it'd be cool to see something like that as well. And the biggest thing for me is a way to track that. Maybe the character's portrait changes a little bit, but we'll see. I might be done with this until the full game comes out, but like I say a lot with a lot of games, this is a really solid groundwork for something that could be very, very cool, but I, I definitely want to see some things tied to either player progression or player understanding improved, because this blank slate respawn on a brand new map every time 
I think one or the other needs to go. Either some sort of permanent character upgrade, or the choice to respawn into the same map with nothing. Something along those lines. But this has been Lovecraft's Untold Stories. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.